Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Teardrop RV Travels. I am in beautiful, sunny Lake Havasu, Arizona. Today's episode is going to be a treat for you. Maybe. No, it's going to be a treat for me. Because I'm cooking. And for some reason, you guys like to watch me cook. Who knows? Don't know why, but you do. So right now, baby, we're going to be cooking with gas. And see, I can say that because I'm actually going to be cooking with gas. Because I've got the little bottle in it. Anyway, I'm, I'm cooking with gas. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys, today I'm cooking something that I enjoy a lot, but I'm doing it my way, which means bachelor style, which means camp style, cooking with just what I have, and I'm doing it on the cheap. So something that I really love is tri-tips. Can't always afford tri-tips, but I can always afford a six and a half dollar pack of chuck let's make this awesome all right so this is a pretty simple one actually i don't have a grill but actually i don't prefer my steaks on a grill i prefer mine pan seared i just the way i've always liked them and that's the way uh that's the way we do it in the brown house and we always tell a joke because if you, mom, my mother always picks up uh, steaks that are uh, um, that are on the discount and she throws them in the freezer. And then, she, and then, if we want a steak, either if she cooks it or, or if uh, we cook it or whatever, you grab one, you thaw it out, you throw it in the pan, cook it right quick, and you've got a steak. And we always make the joke because we had family in Terre Haute, Indiana, that uh, had a cow farm. And uh, my mother tells this story that she would go over there for visits. And, of course, they had a cattle farm, so they always had lots of fresh beef. And uh, it would come time for supper, and and uh, and the mother of the household over there would break out some steaks and pan fry some steaks. And all the kids in the house would go, oh, steak again? And Mom's going, oh, steak. So that's what we say every time when we're going to have some steak or Mom bust out a pan to fry a steak in a big old iron skillet. We go, oh, Steak again. I, I see the humor. I don't know if you do or not. But here's my piece of beef. This is a chuck eye. Actually, it's called a chuck eye steak. But it's a, just a piece of chuck. It's about an inch thick. Now, I'm going to season this, and then I'm going to sear it on both sides. Leave it nice and pink in the middle. But I'm going to cut it like a tri-tip. So... It's not going to be just a big fat steak like this. I'm going to cut it different so I can use it in more things. And it's going to be nice and tender. Alright, so I've got my other piece set to the side. Ziplocked in a bag. I can use it for later. I'm just going to use this to go ahead and season my steak. And you guys might flip. Actually, my mother will probably call me later. Uh, after she sees this and go, what in the world did you do to that steak? Don't tell people that that's the way I do things. This is not the way my mother does it. But it's something I saw that looked pretty cool, so I'm going to try. So I'm going to put a little mustard on both sides of this steak or this piece of beef. Rub it in like that. Get it on both sides. And I am told that that will make all the spices and everything else I'm going to put on this sucker. I'm told that's going to make it much, much better. So we're doing black pepper, sea salt, little onion powder, and as always garlic salt pepper garlic sometimes onion powder 
All right, let me get the other side, then we'll get over to the pan. The secret to an awesome pan-fried steak is butter. And my butter of choice, if I can find it, is Kerrygold. Love this butter. This butter is nothing but awesome. So I'm going to use a pretty high heat. Turn that down a little bit. So pretty high heat. Get that butter nice and butterized. And here goes our piece of beef. That is the sizzle I like to hear. I'm going to cover that. And in just about a minute, we're going to flip it. All right, it's been about a minute. Take this sucker flipper on over. Oh, God, look at that nice sear. I'm only going to leave that on there for about 45 seconds or so, give or take. All right. Now, here is the next step for this wonderful piece of meat. First off, use tongs. Don't use a fork on your meat. That's just that's just wrong. That's that's meat. Uh, that's meat abuse. That don't abuse your meat. How about that? All right, hang on. Let's go back over here. Now here's the next step. You know I didn't cook it very long on the outside. I like it pink in the middle. Okay. And you wrap this sucker up in aluminum foil. And it will continue inside the aluminum foil to uh, sort of cook itself. I don't know exactly what, what it's called when when steak does that. But it's, it's still just hot, so it's going to continue to heat. So I'm going to leave that there for just a couple of minutes. Now, to make this bachelor camp cooking, you could do mashed potatoes. I'm not going to bake a potato. That's too much work out here. Um, you could do green beans. You could do lots of things. But me, I happen to like asparagus. So I've got all that wonderful Kerrygold butter, a little bit of the drippings from the steak. It's all in that pan. So I'm going to fire the pan back up, put a, put a little more butter in it maybe, and then I'm going to uh, uh, cook up these asparagus spears. They're, of course, they're already cooked, but I'm going to sear them a little bit. We're going to make them even better. those of you that don't like asparagus, don't know what to tell you, except asparagus is awesome. I'm going to do something a little different. Take a little Old Bay seasoning, drizzle it around in there, just to try. I like Old Bay on seafood and things like that, but I've never tried it on asparagus. We're going to try it. And if it turns out bad, well then, I'll let you guys know. There's our asparagus. We're just going to warm that and sear that just a little bit. And that butter and juices from the steak. Mm. All right, here's our beef. We've let it sit and uh, cook itself a little bit. Now, see if I can do this with the camera sitting in my way. So we're just gonna slice off a piece. Oh, let me get my other knife. Oh, see, that's the way I like mine right there. So, at an angle, you cut across the grain, right? And you can take a chuck steak that's real tough, but when you cut it across the grain, it just ends up melting in your mouth when you cut across that grain like that. Now, Plenty of you are going to look at this and go, oh my God, that 
meat's raw. Well, this is happening how I like eating beef. You can adjust accordingly for how you like your beef cooked. I happen to like it like this. That's just me. And I'm cutting these a little thick because this is my first time doing it at the camp campground. All right, so I have my asparagus dressed up with a little grated Parmesan and salt and pepper. I'm going to lay me out some of my beef. Right, just like this. Now you can do this. This was chuck eye steak, but you can do a chuck roast. And a chuck roast does just as well. Actually, probably would do better. Somebody... Uh, someone's ever done this before just let me know because I never used chuck eye but but chuck eye was the right price and we want that piece right there how about that for a little bachelor camp cooking now here's the great thing about cooking like this yes I could have done a baked potato baked potatoes awful hard to do I use canned asparagus I would rather have fresh but again a little bit harder to do. I could have had just a regular steak. It'd be more expensive. I have two dollars in a can of asparagus, and I have six and a half dollars in those two big pieces of chuck eye. So um, this will feed two people. I'll get two meals out of this, and uh, out of what I've got right here, plus another piece of chuck eye. So there's there's five dollars and a quarter to feed two steak and asparagus. And, oh, that's good. I'm getting hungry. My food's getting cold. Guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, even when you want steak, no legs, no problem. You guys still here? Why? The video's over. Go watch another video. Read a book. Or maybe just subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video.